Welcome to this QuickBooks Reconciliation Problem tutorial on how to fix your QuickBooks Reconciliation when your beginning balance is wrong. Uh, so this happens a lot, especially with credit cards because uh, QuickBooks users, you know, they may be getting set up in QuickBooks and the company, maybe they're coming in or, or it's the business owner, they've just never reconciled a credit card or even just even reconciled the, the checking account. This really applies to both situations. Okay, so the two most common times that your QuickBooks reconciliation beginning balance will be off. And what I mean by that is, you know, when you go to banking and we go to reconcile, you look at this beginning balance. Okay, this is supposed to match your statement. Okay, whether it's checking, credit card, it doesn't matter. If this number right here does not match your statement, this happens for one of two reasons. Uh, first of all, if you entered a beginning balance when you set up the account, you may have entered the wrong balance. Okay, I'll show you how to fix that in a second. Now, the second time that can happen is if you have gone back and edited or changed or, you know, s somehow adjusted a transaction in the past uh, that um, messed up this beginning balance. Okay, all right. So let's just assume in this case, we'll take a Cal Oil credit card and let's say that that beginning balance is not right. All right, we look at our statement, it doesn't match, what do we do? Okay, well, first of all, uh, the first thing you wanna do, if you have never reconciled this account, what I want you to do is go to the company and go down to the chart of accounts and you're gonna find the Cal Oil credit card, okay? Go to edit account, all right? And you can look here if you have an opening balance that you have put into the credit card. Okay, let's say right here to set opening credit card balances as shown on the credit card statement. Okay, if this beginning balance you entered was not right, you want to change that to the appropriate balance. Okay, that's the easy fix. So if that's the case, change the beginning balance. And when you go back to your reconciliation, it should match. All right. Now, again, that is if you have never reconciled the account. So let's say that you have reconciled this account and you've been doing it or you've done it once, whatever, it reconciled, everything was fine. And now you go back in to reconcile the credit card. Let me go back to the home screen here. You go back to reconcile and now the balance is off. Well, that can really only happen for you know one reason. You have, for some reason, gone back in after the reconciliation and changed something. Okay, you know, it could be a payment, it could be, uh, you know, a, a charge that maybe you, you deleted or voided or maybe added a charge and you put in the wrong date. It can be any number of things. Okay, so a really quick and easy way to go in and check that is go up to reports, okay, go down to banking and go to reconciliation discrepancy. Okay, so you click on this and let's say that uh, we'll say it's just checking for now because it doesn't matter if it's checking or a credit card. All right, so what this report shows you is that uh, it shows you what changes have been made since the previous reconciliation for the time period that reconciliation was for, okay? So you see in here, it shows you that, okay, well, look, this check was entered last modified on December 15th, patent hardware, $48.10, okay? That was the reconciled amount, all right? The type of change was the amount, and the effective change was $48.10. So first things first, go check this report. Something, you know, if something changed, it'll show up in here. And when you, you know, when you see what's on this report, you can double click and you can go to the actual transaction. You'll see here that this was uh, put to zero, okay? So if I go back to the reconciliation report, it was $48.10 and now it's zero, okay? So that would mess up my beginning balance, all right? So check that, you can fix those transactions. Once you fix them and save them, you can go back to uh, reconcile, okay? And when you go to reconcile the account, your beginning balance should match, all right? So hopefully that'll help you out uh, for full training uh, as well as personal support. Uh, become a member of QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org.